Yeah, exactly. And so one thing I want people to understand is that every single liquidity pool is a chart with its own dollar amount. So if you type in Pulse Pop, there's going to be like 100 tar- charts coming out, basically, and they all have different prices. So, mm-hmm. so that's what we have to understand about arbitrage. And the best way we can really communicate that is let's say there's two supermarkets next to each other. So the, every, every one of those charts are like a supermarket with a different price and they're all selling pulse pop, let's say. Okay. Mm-hmm. So let's say the, the top one that you see is PLS. And let's say that's Walmart. Okay. And right next door is die. And let's say that's like another big store. So mm-hmm. whenever, um, the pulse side pumps, because let's say someone bought through pulse or that the pulse price goes up or down, that's going to change the price on that one chart. Okay. So that means the Walmart pulse puppy is more expensive if, it, if that one pumps. So that means that there's an arbitrage bot that's going to want to go to the other supermarket right next door and buy it cheaper and then sell it on the top one. And that's what arbitrage is. Right. Man, nobody has ever explained it as clearly as that. I maybe have not asked, but that is really just like ping. It all makes sense now. So that, that was a, that was a brilliant explanation. <laughs> Great analogies too. So and oh, you, see, you see how every, every, every chart has a different price. Uh, yes. So 848, 857, 809. Yeah. So technically if the R bots aren't doing it and you, if the math works, you can go buy it with uh, a Tropa at $8. And then you could sell it somewhere else at like eight twenty eight or eight forty eight up up top. Usually the art bots are really quick and they're really good at math. So they, as soon as they see that they can make a percentage profit on that, they're gonna go buy it. Let's say at at the, with the pulse pair, pair and they're gonna go sell it with, uh, to the PTGC pair. Mm-hmm. And they're gonna want to make that. So so they're calculating every second and every block to see if they if they're gonna make any percentage on on these yeah it's it's the same contract exactly as a1a basically it's the same uh, so again it it follows the same magic where really no one even has to buy this thing uh over over a certain period of time it's just going to move with the market in an up to the right direction over a long period of time yeah so if you click off of uh pls and you put in usdc like most people like to watch those charts even though i know it's a smarter way to look at pls um but so Basically, this chart is almost 100% traded through bots. So I would say about 95 to 96% bot trading. And it's just, so how I, how I explain it, it's just following Pulse and Atropa. That's, all, that's it. Mm-hmm. So it, it, shows, it shows the health of the ecosystem because it's basically an ETF of Pulse Chain and Atropa. Because... You basically, uh, if if I have a hundred tokens, it's paired to at different ratios. It's the same thing as an as an ETF because you're basically exposed to the price movement of a hundred plus tokens specifically chosen by me at different ratios. So basically, if a tropa pumps, then we move with it, and we get a one percent tax distributed to all the holders in more pulsed up. You can watch it working away here. All these little, all these little trades, or maybe one here, so two hundred ninety-three. That wouldn't be a bot. That's, but a, that's, little... a human, that's a human there. That's the only human you'll see right. pretty much. <laughs> the rest is little bots. Three dollars thirty-three, two fifty-six, six fifty-eight. That's all the bots, right? Yeah. So basically, if so, what's really cool, and I want people to start understanding, is that arbitrage is super powerful because not only is that arbitrage bot putting money in and selling, and we get tax on it, but if you really look closely that $293, it caused all these sales because it's rebalancing all the pools. That means that the Walmart got sold, but then Target bought, Costco bought, and all those little ones, all those little smaller stores are just transferring from one store to to another. And all that is being taxed 1%. So you see like in, in the last minute, how much money has been put through there. Mm. And that's and that's can... only that's only the pulse, the pulse chart. If you look at all the other ones, there's a hundred other ones. That's only the volume that's happening um, on the one chart. Because it's moving with a tropa as well. The the volume 
that's happening through here. This is where it's really obvious to me. This is when a troper essentially started to move. So when you're talking about it's moving with a troper, I mean, here's all you, here's your evidence. The the increase in volume. So this has been the price. This has been the volume that's been running through a troper and through Pulse Chain as well. And then look at the volume that's being brought through the PLS pup chart just through those periods. So obviously it was it was very that's much acquired through Tropa. So this is yeah, exactly. That's perfectly what it is. And you know that that sideways motion from October to January basically was a sideways um, time on Pulse Chain, and we were kind of like in a bearish mode. And you know what? What I was doing was every dip i was adding more liquidity with a tropa and pdi and pulse um to be to be strengthening that floor uh, every time it dips i add more capital in the usd value and it adds more liquidity at the end and right. so now we actually have so it says that we have forty one thousand liquidity with wrapped pulse and that's kind of deceiving because um we I haven't done the calculation, but we're probably around 150,000 liquidity total right now. What's really interesting is that the higher your ratio is, like the more liquidity you have, it just makes it a, a bigger foundation. It makes it your scaffolding that much stronger in that if someone wants to dump a grand, it's a lot harder to, to hurt the price. It's a lot harder to if your liquidity ratio is higher. And if someone was to drop, uh, was to sell $1,000 right now, there would be a bunch of buys by the arbitrage bots. So they would suffer major slippage because they have to go through a $40,000 door. And then all the other pools are going to buy after that. So they're gonna, it's, it's going to, it's going to basically, if you sell a thousand dollars, the price will go back up by about $400 right after he sells. Just because of the fact that it's connected to so many different pools. Yeah. And the same with the buy. So as soon as you buy a thousand dollars worth, it's going to sell $400 worth right off the bat. So that creates more volume. So it's a volume increasing strategy. So instead of getting a thousand dollars of taxes, you're actually getting $1,400 of, uh, that you can be taxed on. So that 1%, wow. yeah, that 1% now touches an extra $400 sell and also touch that $1,000 buy. <laughs> Oh, nice man i like that i like that this is all your way of explaining is like really really good and really clear 